Charismatic Center. Well, I hope you still keep wearing your face mask whenever you are stepping out of the house. If you want to sneeze or cough, do it into your arm or into your sleeve. Wash your hands with running water and soap or maybe hand sanitizer. COVID-19 is still lurking around, but praise be to God. God has been so good to us and he's looked after all of us. You know, we all have roles and assignments given to us by God. And the secret of success in life is to do our assignments and do them well. You are going to learn more about this in our lesson today. You are welcome. Praise the Lord. It is always a great joy to be with you. I know you want God to bless you, and so do I. And if we want God to bless us, we have to use everything that God has given us to glorify his name. Today, our first action song says, Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Now, let's start. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you touch. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you touch. For the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you touch. Now, let's go into the second one. The Lord will bless someone today. Good. The Lord will bless someone today. 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 It could be you. It could be me. It could be someone by my side It could be you, it could be me It could be someone by my side Good, I hope you enjoyed it Hello children I would like to ask you a simple question What was last week's memory verse? Luke chapter 6 Verse 38. Today's memory verse is taken from Luke chapter 16, verse 10. And one who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much. And one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. Luke chapter 16, verse 10. Say it with me. Luke chapter 16, verse 10. And one who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much. And one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. Very good. I know you said it. God wants us to appreciate and take very good care of the things he has given to us. And when we do that, he will bless us with much more. Amen. Hello, children. Today we are going to talk about being a good steward. A steward is a person who takes care of something. Have you ever been asked to take care of something before? Have your parents asked you to take care of the house, clean the living room, take care of your little siblings, wash the dirty clothes or utensils? How well were you able to do it? God wants us to take care of the things that he has given us well. 
Our Bible lesson for today is taken from Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. And we are going to learn about the parable of the talents. This is one of the stories that Jesus told to describe how the kingdom of God is like. Once upon a time, a man was traveling to a very far country. And he called all his servants and shared his money amongst them. He gave one five bags of silver. He gave another two bags. And the third servant, he gave him one bag. After a very long time, he came back and he said, What did you do with the money I gave you? Sir, I have ten coins. I have doubled what you have given me. Well then, good and faithful servant, you have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. And what you have got for me? I have six coins, sir. I have doubled it with what you have given me. Well then, good and faithful servant, you have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Let me see what you got. Sir, I know you would ask back the coin. So I kept it safe all these days and here it is. If I am that kind, then you should have given me the interest at least. And where is the interest? Throw him away from my eyes. Children, the man is like God and we are like the servants. God has given us all unique and good gifts that we have to use it to glorify his name. Sometimes we are afraid of using the gifts that God has given us because we think we will fail or we think of what others will say. But no, you have to use your gifts well so that others will see the good works and glorify God. And also, whilst you are at home, every chores or assignment that you are given, make sure you do it well to the glory of God. Remember, there is a great reward for you when you use your gifts well. And when you do not do, you will face the consequences. Amen. That was another wonderful lesson by Auntie Ohima, encouraging us through the word of God to be good stewards. God wants us to take good care of all the things he has given us. To be able to do this, you will need the Spirit of God. You will need Jesus Christ to have the Spirit of God to be able to do this. If you want to invite Jesus Christ into your heart, pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. This week, our assignment is taken from the book of Ruth. Tell us the lessons you learn. God bless you. Thank you.